Good morning and welcome. I'm Jakibia Green and Priya Lewis and I of the Institute of Women and Ethnic Studies are presenting our poster, now PowerPoint presentation, Centering Peer Health Navigators to Improve Care and Treatment for Black Women Living with HIV. Next slide. To provide a little context for our work, Black women in the U.S. continue to be disproportionately impacted by HIV, accounting for nearly 60% of new HIV diagnosis despite making up less than 15% of the female population. Black cisgender and transgender women have a disparate burden of stress-related disorders and comorbid health conditions that often contribute to poor health outcomes, especially for those living with HIV. IWAS is funded by HRSA's Special Projects of National Significance Program to improve care and treatment services for cisgender and transgender Black women living with HIV in the greater New Orleans region. IWAS, along with our partner Priority Healthcare, a federally qualified health center on the West Bank of New Orleans, are implementing and evaluating a bundled set of interventions focused on enhancing patient navigation, increasing organizational capacity for trauma-informed care, including gender-affirming care, supportive services for intimate partner violence, and HIV stigma reduction. The engagement strategies employed and interventions implemented prioritize Black women living with HIV who have never entered care, have fallen out of care, or are at high risk of falling out of care. Next slide. All right, hello again, and my name is Priya Lewis, and I serve as the program director of the HRSA initiative at our site. On to methods. Peer health navigators are positioned at the center of our strategy to engage and retain Black women living with HIV in care. Our peer health navigators have lived experiences that align with the priority population and or have a history of strong working relationships with the priority population. They have received extensive training in patient navigation, motivational interviewing, gender affirming care, trauma informed approaches to care, stigma reduction, client centered treatment plans, and program evaluation practices in order to set them up success for success for long term success. They additionally lead recruitment, enrollment, support groups, and incentive management to reduce the number of patient transfers so that care is coordinated. Additionally, they implement evidence-informed interventions that include monthly health and wellness navigation sessions for participants and peer support groups. Additionally, a local peer health navigation expert provided consultation and monthly mentorship sessions for our peer health navigators, which included processing the emotions and challenges of peer support, caseload review and problem solving, and support with strategy for recruitment and enrollment. Here are two um, recruitment flyers for the patient navigation interventions that we are conducting. Um, as you can see, they're colorful, bright, and focus on joyful um, engagement of Black women, Black women gathering uh, together. They were designed by our peer health navigators um, designed pictures and how, um, how the words are displayed on each flyer and also just how many words you see um, in comparison with how large the pictures are. So it was really important to make sure our navigators were central to this process. In discussion, by building trust and rapport with clients and creating space and opportunity for wellness that extends beyond HIV care and treatment, peer health navigators are instrumental in ensuring that interventions and approaches to service delivery are culturally relevant and tailored to the needs of Black women living with HIV. We wanted to share a quote from Ari Davis, one of our peer health navigators, when she wrote us to tell us that one of the participants had reached viral suppression. And she said, we're changing lives one at a time. I hope this brings you as much joy as it brought me. In future considerations, we wanted to share that our peer health navigators have been instrumental in helping us inform and prioritize long-term strategies to improve enrollment, engagement, and retention of Black women living with HIV in the program and in HIV care more generally. The future considerations and the pri priority points that they wanted us to look into and focus on were um, making cell phones available for health navigators for ease of communication with participants. Also, making incentive options as flexible as possible to fit, need, to fit the needs of the priority population. They also wanted 
us to improve access to gender affirming health care by reexamining and revising a variety of systems and policies at the clinic level, including the complete patient experience from scheduling appointments, um, taking a look at the waiting room atmosphere, and interactions with front desk staff and providers that um, patients might have. Additionally, they wanted us to examine and want us to further examine the phrasing and wording of paper and electronic intake form questions to make sure that they are welcoming and accessible for the priority population specifically, as well as for all patients. And also how information, especially gender identity and preferred names are recorded and displayed in the EMR. They also wanted us to examine clinic policies that perhaps are out of date or have left out certain priority populations in, um, in what they currently um, cover. All right, here are our selected references from this presentation. And uh, additionally, we wanted to acknowledge HRSA, our uh, funding agency, as well as the Priority Healthcare Implementation Team um, our Guide to Healing and Alexis Project participants that are uh, the participants in our patient navigation interventions. And of course, Dietz, our local expert who mentored and provided support for our Peer Health Navigator team throughout, um, throughout our implementation. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, Priya Lewis. Um, I have left my email contact below. Thank you very much.